So this, is, so this is the Daintree Valley this is profile. A, this, is the, this is the Pleistocene Terrace. Okay. This is the floodplain. All right. Now, and you can see here that we've got dates of, uh, you know, 300 ka, um, several metres down, you know, four and five metres down. Right. Right up to the top. And we find this consistently throughout all the floodplains. Oh, right. the, 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 the floodplain, presumably there was a floodplain there before and yeah. it had been stripped out and it's been rebuilding up. Right. So sometime, mm. just prior to 300 years, yes. we've had a major stripping event. So it's taken the whole lot package out. Well, yeah, yeah. not all of the whole right. floodplain of the Daintree Valley, yeah. but, but a substantial parts of it. Right, okay. Ripped it out. Gosh. And uh, and at the same time, we're noticing a change in the behaviour of the sediment building up the low ridges here. Right. And so this is very close to there, I mean, you know, yeah. so... So what sort of rainfall event are we talking about? Don't know yet. We've got... Well, yeah. Mozzie? Mozzies. Mozzies. Yeah. Um, we don't know yet. Right. We haven't... I see you've got mud in that sequence as well. Yeah. Yeah, there so is a muddy sequence yeah. in there. So is it's that... Up down the bottom. Yeah. But it comes out at 1,000 years. So it's older? Yeah. It's an older unit. Right. Sitting underneath it. We checked okay. to see if it was estuarine or not. Yeah. No. It's not. It's fresh no. water. Yeah. It's fresh water. Pollen. We had the pollen analysed. Right. Out of it. Yeah, and it's just swampy, um, you know, fresh water pollen. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, so it's not lake or sort of standing water type, but, but more of a marsh. Yeah, marsh. Yeah. Marsh. Right. Like much the same sort of thing as you'd find there today, growing yeah. along the riverbanks and stuff. Now looking at the sediment here, there's, there is a, it's, it's not well sorted, is it? Or is this just No, there's mixture? a bit of coarse gritty stuff in here. In it, know? yeah. But actually, when you get into the ridges, I thought these were all fine grain, or maybe this is the last bit of coarse gritty stuff. Right. And from here on, we get into the, the finer grain. But we definitely get into some fine grain stuff. Further up. And it might be just at this point, just here, actually. So these forests that we're walking through, I mean, they're, they're not mangrove, are they? They're just sort of... Uh, no, no, they're sort of, uh, we'd probably call them monsoon vine thickets or something like right. that. Right, okay. Yeah. And this is sort of the natural vegetation that you find on these beach, yeah. beach, yeah. beach ridges. Yep. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Some places the vegetation changes between the ridges and the crests. Right. You get different, okay. different vegetation just because of the hydrology, really. And can you use that to pick out the ridges from aerial photographs, yeah, the yeah. changes in vegetation? Yeah, you can, yeah. Right. Yeah. At Cowley Beach, south of Cairns. Yeah. It's very obvious. Is it? Very, very clear, different colour green stripings going down parallel in the coast. Oh, right. Mm. Like Strikingly yeah. obvious. Wow. Well, that's good. So have you done aerial surveys or you looked at satellite photographs? Yep. Yeah. Look, well, I mean, Google, that's just as good as anything. Is it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it really shows the ridges brilliantly. Does it? Yeah. At Cowley Beach it does, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. And along the Gulf of Carpentaria, too. Right. Google it, yeah. Oh, I like fantastic. Oh, fantastic. There you go.